Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Cape Love. Thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Do you believe I have been using the Law of Attraction for five months now? Five months and so many beautiful things have happened. And if this is the first video that you're clicking on, then you have a lot to catch up on. I made a whole series on um, the Law of Attraction and I talk about my monthly updates. There are like 16 or 17 videos which have I basically armed with all the fabulous strategies and tools and everything that I have learned along my journey that has helped me get to where I am today, helped me close the gap of resistance and vibrate on the frequency of love. And this is a very beautiful place to be. Now, there are three kind of categories that I want to talk you through today. One is business, one is family, and let me just check my notes, what was the other one? And the other one is home. So there's three different sections and in regards to the business section, this is um, this probably is the most significant one to me because this is the one where I had a lot of blocks around and no, not necessarily blocks. I had manifested different um, themes for my website but I manifested themes which looked beautiful, but I had no flippin' idea how to use them. And so with the Law of Attraction, I've kind of wrote down what I wanted and I've simplified it to, like I'm literally manifesting it to be like, okay, this is what I'm going to be able to see. This is what I'm going to do. This is, you know, I went through all of the five senses and I manifested the best web designer that I have found on the internet, no joke. She is absolutely amazing and you won't even believe the synchronicities that I have found linked to it. Are you ready for it? So the first synchronicity has to do with Girlboss, hashtag Girlboss. Um, I listened to the audiobook um, Girlboss by Sophia Amoroso. Then I found on Netflix, which I didn't even have a Netflix um, account. I normally stream through Cartoon HD. But that was closed for that day and I was kind of like having a down day and I was like, I really want to um, watch something, um, okay, I'll just get Netflix. <laughs> anyway, so I found Girlboss on the series and I was like, well, actually no, I did that first and I didn't really know what was going on. I'd heard about it but I didn't know it was actually Sophia's life, well, a loose, um, loosely told recall of events. So that was the first thing. So I found her, I listened to her audiobook, fell in love with her, and I was like, good lord, she understands the entrepreneurial struggle. Then the other synchronicity was watching um, The Girl Boss season one of, on Netflix, which I watched in about two days, mind you. The other thing is that I then found, when I was on this website, that this web designer built The Girl Boss website, and I was like, the hell so that was synchronicity number three the fourth one is that when I went on to Squarespace Sophia's website for Girlboss was featured on the home page that was four synchronicities for that then when I go to buy um, my website that I wanted get this you can't even like understand how this happened it happened on it happened, I was going to buy it on July 3rd, and I was like, no, I had so many things that went wrong with my video when I was filming, and I was like, why did this take me all day to film, upload, and edit a video? Like, I don't understand. That video should have taken me like maybe three hours. It didn't. Everything went wrong that day. Audio didn't sync with the video, and I got super pissed, and so I just left it. So the next day, I went to buy it, and I was like, okay, going to buy it right now and then it came down the bottom and it said promo code and I was like and I have a lot of American viewers 41% to be exact and I was like they love the 4th of July they're celebrating their fabulous day anyway so I typed in July 4 into the coupon code I saved myself 90 American dollars which is a lot especially coming from Australian dollars I was like holy crap that's like 130, 140 Australian dollars that I have just saved, which was amazing. So that was another synchronicity. The other thing is that I manifested outstanding customer service from this company. Um, and then my partner told me that if I was to use Squarespace to host my um, 
oh, Squarespace as a platform for my website, he had a 10% coupon code from Rich Roll Podcast. So that was like five or six synchronicities. I found the most perfect web designer to work with. I love what she does. It was so easy to change to be more my flavor, which I really, really love. Anyway, so the website was a massive one. The other one is I actually manifested creating my first digital product. I haven't released it yet, but I've created it. It is a forgiveness heals healing meditation. Um, it just flowed out of me within 30 minutes. And I got a little bit emotional in the reading, but in the reading, in the, um, what do you call it? when I was recording it, but it was so authentic and it was so perfect because I'm literally picturing this person that I'm trying to forgive in my head as I'm reading it and all the emotions just flooded through and it was just perfect. It was like a one take and it just flowed through me and then I was able to find the, um, I had a beautiful picture to put, uh, everything just kind of linked up with that. So that's, um, otherwise I'll just ramble for everyone. I'm already about six minutes. Um, the other thing is YouTube. I got paid $100 within a month, which if you don't have a YouTube channel, you have no idea. No, that's upstream. Um, because I have ads at the end of my video and sometimes throughout my video, that's how I make money through YouTube. And it is wonderful that I have the opportunity to do that. But uh, how do I do this without going upstream? So basically I made $100 within a month. YouTube don't pay you unless you make $100, that's the minimum. So when I first started my channel, I didn't understand anything and then um, I got paid out all at once. But now, this is my first month. I've been on YouTube for like three and a half years or three years. It's my first month I made $100 within a month and was able to take that money out and it was put into my bank account. So that was massive because that has never ever ever happened. You need to have like, I think I get like 25,000 to 30,000 views. That makes like a hundred dollars to me. So my videos get around, depending on what they are, I say a thousand views on average. Yeah. Takes a lot to make money off YouTube, but that was a massive milestone for me. I've been manifesting that for ages. Okay, the other thing is that I manifested a fabulous collaboration with a chai tea company that is in Melbourne. I haven't tasted it yet, but I saw them on Instagram. I love their stuff and I was like, this is really, really, really cool. It just had a really good energy to it. Their website was fabulous and they had like this cute starter pack. And so yeah, they emailed me yesterday and they were like, hey Mel, what's your address? Would love you to try out this chai and yeah. So that was really, really exciting. The other thing is in regards to my house, this is the home section now, I actually sold my dining room table and chairs within 24 hours and made a $50 profit. I had over 800 people look at my ad through Facebook Marketplace and that totally blew me away. I was like, dude, I should have marked it up higher. I got a really, really good deal on the, um, the table and the table's worth I should have put, yeah, way more. Anyway, it happened within 24 hours. And as a result of that, what actually happened is I, because I had that extra money, the universe was like, oh, well, Mel has this extra money now. We're gonna find her a tent. I've wanted to go camping for ages and ages and ages. My family and I used to go camping with our whole extended family, every school holidays. September school holidays was our favorite because our cousins from Brisbane and everyone from Mackay would meet halfway. So on my side of the family, on my mum's side, there are 14 cousins. And on my second cousins, there's probably like another 14, if not 20, because my cousins, my family, they've got like four or five in each family. Anyway, so I love camping and camping puts me into vibrational alignment because I'm not on my phone. I'm making a fire and I don't have light. I don't know, it just is very grounding camping. And so we manifested a tent found it a seven man tent for 70 bucks which is unheard of it was second hand it was in perfect condition it's so big and it's so beautiful make sure you watch me on instagram because i actually showed you on instagram stories the whole little camping setup because i set it up literally in our garage and it was up for like five nights we camped in the garage we're like yeah we just want to see how how everything goes and 
best time ever. Anyways, so then we got the tent. This is all within 24 hours. We sold the table, we got the tent, we got two fabulous camping chairs, and we got a gas stove to cook on. So that was massive. Then the other part is about family. So I flew up to Mackay, because I live on the Sunshine Coast. So I flew up to Sunshine Coast, which is like a 10 and 11 hour drive or an hour and a half flight. Um, so I flew back home because my cousin was getting married and I was manifesting to have a beautiful vegan meal. I don't know if you guys know that I eat plants in their natural form and help cure my body of illness and disease, um, cure my acne, my eyes are super white, the whites are and the blues are more brighter. It helped me lose 10 kilos. Help me! It was like the linchpin that helped me discover self-love. So food for me was like my first uh, form of self-love and then it kind of went from there. Um, I just looked at the clock just then and it said 11, 11. What? Um, yeah, so that was a massive thing. So at the wedding, my cousin and her beautiful, his beautiful now wife had this incredible vegan meal. And sometimes at weddings you get like salad. People just think that vegans eat salad. And you look around and you're like, this is really nice. And you're being super polite. You're like, why can I just have real food? Like I eat potatoes, you know? Why don't people know that potatoes are vegan? Anyways, so I was looking through the menu at the establishment where the weddings take place. And I was looking to see what they made in their other areas. And I found this chickpea curry and it was vegetarian. I was like, oh, if they took the ghee out of that, that would totally be vegan. And that's all we got, this beautiful chickpea curry with this papadam. And then, normally for dessert, when you go to a wedding as a vegan, um, you don't get anything. You don't get offered anything. It's like, oh, I have a piece of fruit. Yeah, really nice, thank you. Where everyone's eating this delicious cake and you're like, I would love that cake, but I know what goes into that cake and it doesn't make me feel very good and it's not good for the planet, the animals, or my body. Anyways, so we got the most delicious vegan, it must have been like this buttercream vanilla cupcake, which was so delicious. So delicious so that my nana asked for some of the cupcake, which is massive. Because I remember when I first went vegan and she's like, are you going to get enough protein, Mel? You're not going to waste away, are you? Anyway, dude, do you believe that? That is massive, that my nanas, yeah, that, that was massive. Anyway, the other thing is that we actually had an impromptu photo shoot at the beach. My sister got the new iPhone 7 Plus phone. Holy crap, is the image quality on that like using a 50 mil lens. Oh, it was like heaven to me. And Peter and I got the most beautiful shots. I'll put them on the screen like right now. And we were just, we just felt like models. It just kind of flowed. I kind of, I went to the beach to film a video because I was really bad with filming because I was too busy trying to manifest my website. Anyway, so that kind of happened. And yeah, a photo shoot. It was like, it was stunning. It was just so good. I just loved it. It was just so natural and beautiful. And I felt like a million dollars and I was kind of like stepping into my power. If you watched my previous video, you would know that I love my body now, which is massive, especially coming from where I used to be. So that was really, really nice. What was the other thing? Um, oh, it was also Peter's birthday on the weekend and I was a little bit hesitant about it because I was like, to get you for your birthday. Anyway, I manifested the most perfect day in every possible way. We went four wheel driving. If you watch my Instagram stories, you would hear me like screaming, going, yeah, yeah. It was like so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> We went four wheel drive and got the car bonked, but then my brother got it out and that was fun. He showed us um, how to use a chainsaw, which is something we've never done before. We went swimming in winter time, but it didn't really feel like winter in Mackay because it was so hot. Like it's winter in Australia at the moment, but up north, I didn't have clothes. I basically used, I wore my mum's clothes. <laughs> like in all my pictures, like the picture of me and my togs right here. They're my mum's togs. <laughs> and then this picture here, I'm meditating. That's my mum's dress because I didn't have anything. Anyways, um, and then, so that was a beautiful morning with my brother. 
Then we, then my brother, get this, he was so beautiful. He made a vegan campfire meal for Peter on his birthday. Beautiful vegetables, then he steamed some other vegetables that weren't going to go in it. And we just had a, I just, we just had like a really, really, really nice time. This piece of hair is really annoying me. I'm just gonna fix that. Um, we just had like a really, really nice time together, sitting around the campfire while laughing and drinking red wine, which I never drink. And there's many reasons for that. Number one, doesn't make me feel good the next day if I drink too much. It makes my face super puffy. And we had a photo shoot after drinking, and I was like, oh my god, my face is so puffy. Um, but I was just was like, it was just like the perfect day. And then we were dancing around and having the best time. And then Mark bought us all these special treats, like the So Good Vegan ice cream. We had ginger nut biscuits in the cupboard. We had the Whitaker's almond ch um, chocolate. We had so many treats. There was bio cheese. There was just, everything was just perfect. It was like the perfect day. It was like the, like the universe... Like I surrendered to the universe and said, I, I don't know what to buy, Peter, because like we're minimalists, we don't like stuff. And we always try and buy each other experiences. And I was a bit like, oh, what the hell do I do? Like, I don't know what to do. But the day was perfect and we're gonna go on a really special trip soon, going camping. Yeah, there's this island that is not far you would have seen, I think it would have been on month two or three when I manifested working on Sir Richard Branson's private island on Make Peace. Um, when I was working with a family who were multi millionaires. And across from that island is another island um, that we would love to go camping on because there's hardly anyone. It's like tourist season at the moment because it's school holidays. Um, or you'd call it in the UK half term. Um, I don't know what you call it in America. Vacation? I don't know. Anyways, so it was just like the perfect time. Anyway, what else was there? Oh, and then I manifested having a lovely conversation with um, a family member who I was always like, I always made it such a chore to see them. It was always such a chore to see them because the conversation was never stimulating and I was bored shitless to tell you the truth. Cause it's like when you start elevating the way that you think, you notice that a lot of people around you are still doing the same thing that you did like eight years ago, but you've had all the spiritual growth and they're still at the same stage. Anyway, I was working particularly on manifesting a beautiful conversation that I was actually engaged in. I actually got complimented, which was massive, totally massive. And then, Another thing that happened is that my auntie there invited our family over to her house for a beautiful vegan Italian lunch, which was amazing. It was just like, there's just so many beautiful things that happen when you, when you raise your vibration and you're in alignment and you're vibrating on the frequency of love. So, so many things have happened, my love. My most favorite thing was spending time with my family, going forward driving, finding the best web designer in the whole wide world and Everything was really beautiful. It was like everything that happened, except for the website, that was probably the most expensive thing, but everything else was free. Like everything else was free. And I'm learning that when you manifest things, a lot of people put focus on the monetary value of it. But for me, that, that doesn't sit well with me and that is not who I am. Like that, um, that song from Janet Jackson, um, Anyway, so the best things in life really are free. It's like spending time with family and friends, going camping, even if it's in your garage. It's super fun. It's just like changing things up. Anyways, my love, that's where I'm at. Month five as a part of the law of attraction. I can't wait for month six. I'm manifesting for month six to launch my business, to start doing my private spiritual readings, going camping more and just having a fabulous time because I feel really good. And, you know, I'm just riding the energies instead of when something comes up and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like I have my down days. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm human. 
um, which is beautiful. And that the contrast that comes up is making me a better person. That's basically what I want to say. Anyways, my love, please let me know in the comment section below what have you manifested lately? Because I would love to hear from you. Please make sure that you support my channel. The easiest way to do that is hit that subscribe button. If you love this content, hit the like button because that helps me rank better on YouTube. And it honestly just makes my day when I see lots of thumbs up. And what else is there? Oh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram stories, Instagram story game has totally stepped it up. It's kind of the behind the scenes, which I love because you don't have to edit it. It's just there. It's like, boom. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Please check out this video below and I will see you next episode. I love you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.